Well, Reese, what are you up to? Um, uh, Reese trying to work out um, how to make the right concentration of cells and solutions for the labs tomorrow, but I can't get the hang of this serial dilution stuff. Okay. Well, keep thinking. I'm just going to lift the bar. I'll be back in a minute. See, I'm do some practical serial dilutions. Okay. Right, okay. hang a bit for you. So, what's your first question that you've got there? Right, okay. You have a stock solution of 0 0.5 molar. Okay. Um, and you've got half a litre of it. Right. You have to make a 0 0.1 molar solution where V2 is 5 mil. Okay, well, for our stock solution, we'll use a well known black current drink. A handy dark colour, so we'll be able to see when this dilutes. Right, now the principle behind doing these sorts of calculations is this. Ah, it's concentration, your first concentration, and times your first volume, it's concentration in the second one, times second volume. Okay? Right. That makes sense. So, let's put some figures into this. Okay. So, what's your initial concentration? My initial concentration is 0 0.5 molar. Okay. And what concentration are you looking to get? Um, 0 0.1 molar. Right. Okay. Well, that's obviously a division by 5. Fair right. enough. Okay. Okay. What's your, what are the volumes? Have you got, have you got the first volume? Uh, no, I don't have the first volume. I've got the second volume, which is 500 ml. Right, so 1 in 500. It's fairly simple to that, isn't it? You just take 100 mils of your concentrate solution. Right, one okay. fifth. Make sense? Yes. So, if these glasses fall apart, which possibly they do. Yeah, about a fifth there. And there we go. One molar. Right. So, so that seems easy. It does. So, what's your second question? You can have a go at it now. Right, okay. So, if I have an initial concentration of 0.1 molar, handily there, um, but an unknown beginning volume, okay, and my second concentration is 0.01 molar, okay, so what sort of factor are you diluting by? factor of 10. Right. 0.1 to 0.01 is a factor of 10. Okay. Right. So, if you've got 500, if you've got this here, what volume are you looking for at the end? I'm looking for um, 500 mils. Handle it the same again. So, if you dilute by a factor of 10, how much of that needs to go into there? If I'm diluted by a factor of 10, that would be 50 mils. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's right. One tenth of it. So, dilute it away. That'll do. A little bit damp there. <laughs> uh, the problem with these experiments. And that's why we don't do science with pint glasses. It is. And there we go. So, if we look at that now. 0.5 to 0.1. 0.01. There we well, go. See, they're more dilute. Well done. That was easy. It was. Fairly simple.